Will this replace my current setup? This is the Boss Gigcaster 8. Boss makes this in two sizes, but this is the big size. Let's unbox this, check out some of the features. Will this potentially be an optimal setup when it functions as a mixer, an interface, an effects board? It's got some other fun features we can play with, so I'm really excited to get this thing up and running. Then at the end, I'll talk about some ways it could be improved and who I would recommend this kind of a machine to. Gigcaster, box in the box, Gigcaster, sound mix and live stream master, fader samples, effects for all, interface mixer, live stream overhaul, instructions aside, power supply, discard the phone, we're almost there, and unwrap your Gigcaster with care, Gigcaster, nice. Checking it out from the outside, it looks like we've got eight different channels here, but they're all for different things. The four inputs, four combo input jacks, which is nice because they can take an XLR or a quarter inch cable. A stereo out here. Look above, we've got three eighth inch headphone monitor jacks, SD card slot, USB-C, and power jack. This it actually has this little groove in the back where you can route the power cable so it doesn't pull on the jack. So that's nice, especially if you have a cat. Here we are all plugged in. The faders are jumping, that's a good sign. And I'm looking into my OBS and the faders are jumping there, so. We got volume. I want to make a disclaimer that Boss sent me this gig caster, but they are not influencing my opinions and I'm going to tell you the truth about it. As a live streamer myself, I really appreciate how they've laid out these buttons super nicely. I plugged in my instruments, tweaked my sound, used the USB-C to plug into my computer, added the gig caster as an audio source to OBS, and I was off to the races ready to broadcast. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inputs here, but unlike a regular mixer well some mixers the channels are kind of designated for certain purposes and that's because not all types of plugs are the same whether it's a quarter inch or XLR or line level input that's the sort of thing that these separate tracks are accounting for each channel has its own mute and solo button for each individual channel as well as a global mute over here underneath the master fader because when you're streaming and making videos you're the performer and you're the technician with all these easy access buttons you can control Control your sound on the fly. I'm gonna add a headphone extender to this so that I can have a little longer leash. Actually, I'm gonna plug it into the back because I feel like the front one is a little vulnerable. And we can do that because there are four headphone monitors. Hey, I found the effects. Arena? 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 Oh, say. A fader for the amount? Oh, say, can you see? This is the club. Ladies, leave a man at home. I love that there's a tuner right on top. All right, let's check out some of these guitar patches. From the main menu screen, the way you get to the guitar patches, you click channel one where we have the guitar plugged in. We'll set the gain. That actually looks good for the gain. Okay, let's go down to the effects and scroll through some of these. Tremolo reverb. <laughs> Put some reverb on the voice. Let's go with not too much reverb. This is the room reverb. Hear the clock, 6 a.m. Feel so far from where I've been. Brit Rock, 1978. All right, let's try funky rhythm. I belong with you, you belong with me, my soul. Oh, I belong with you, you belong with me, my soul. We'll just play with a few more. There is so much. Did a full 180. Crazy. Thinking about the way you were. I could do this all day, but those are just some of the vocal effects combined with the guitar effects. And I think it sounds super clean. Even within these patches, you can scroll down and have some more options. So even for this panning delay, there's a chorus level, a decay level, a reverb effect level. Reverb. A reverb effect. 
a reverb effect level. The audio you're hearing is the exact audio that would go out for a live stream or a YouTube video such as this one. The last thing that I wanted to demo is some of these sample pads and they're preloaded. You want to know what they'll do? So the red one was a drum roll, the orange one. Oh, wrong answer. Yellow one. Oh. Stream. I love the applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. 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 Now, upon first looks, I don't want to be too judgmental, but a couple things that I wish it had. I wish that the headphone jacks were actually quarter inches. I've experienced working with the eight inch jacks. Sometimes they're so small that the mechanics that keep them springy, they don't last. Whereas a quarter inch plug is just a little stronger. Definitely recommend having some headphone extenders. That way you can plug and unplug from this end and not directly from the console. You can replace an extender, but it's gonna be more expensive to replace parts in this. My current interface has eight inputs and I'm scheming for ways to get some more. The gig caster only has four inputs. It wouldn't exactly replace my current setup. It might be just the perfect thing for a more mobile setup. I would like to take this thing on the road. I want to see how it works with my phone. Can we do mobile live streams with it? I also love that it has the USD in the back for recording individual tracks so that you could mix a live concert. Put out a live album. Man, I wish I had something like this when I started my Twitch channel. I'm actually really surprised how simple it was to set up. Could have really streamlined my whole studio build. I would definitely recommend this gig caster. I'd recommend it to new live streamers just getting started on their studio. I'd also recommend it to seasoned content creators that might like another setup. And with this little adapter, it can plug right into your phone and make TikToks and Instagram one, stuff. One, two, three. And with real pro quality audio. I'd recommend it to online music teachers, online music students. What features of this machine attracts you the most? I'll have an affiliate link down below if you wanna go check out the Gigcaster for yourself. Thank you so much to my patrons who support my music and this channel every single month. Stay tuned and I'll talk about some of the options when using a looper with the Gigcaster. And if you're interested in my current setup, you might wanna check out this next video. My updated rig rundown is a masterpiece. Gig caster coming at ya Get it out of the box and play with the New kind of way to mix Rainbow buttons and preset plugins Gig caster, it's a master Now you can tech your own show Won't stop shop right out of the box Plug it in and go Gig caster